Mike, midway through MBAA 2017, we're watching a number of projects that have been underway for a while and are slowly but surely eking their way toward completion. And well, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and it doesn't seem to have a train whistle attached. Tell us where uh, Epic is going from here. Well, right now we're in the process of finishing up the final uh, structural testing. Uh, flight test is almost done on the first flight test article. And then we're looking at flight test number two getting online. That's a fully conforming, 100% ready to deliver type of aircraft. We're looking at that to begin flying here in the next month or so. Once we reach that, we'll be shooting for TIA, which is Type Inspection Authorization. We get the FAA on board, and we're shooting for May, June time period for certification. I jokingly say we're sliding by months now, not by years, so we're getting close. <laughs> we're excited because we are really, really close. You know, and, and people ask us, you know, at times, you know, so, well, how's the FAA to work with and all this other stuff? Actually, they've been really good. You look at uh, what we've accomplished uh, in, in uh, five and a half years, it's pretty phenomenal. So we're fully staffed up uh, for, with our engineering staff. We're actually doing our production certificate in parallel with our type certificate. So that's going to allow us to begin delivering aircraft not too far after type certificate. So we're looking at fully staffed up for our manufacturing floor. We've added ovens, we've added paint booths, we've added personnel and training. We have a full our own in-house training program, and so we're getting there. We're excited about what's going to happen. So once certification comes to pass and you're heading into production, what is the production cycle likely to look at? What are your uh, prognostications for the initial few years? Well, the goal is 50 a year. So getting from first delivery to 50 a year, you're probably looking at a year and a half to two years to that point. But to the first year, you're probably going to see one a month, maybe one every month and a half or something like that starting out. And then it's going to build up from there. What kind of person right now is part of the EPIC program? Where are these folks coming from? What kind of missions are they looking for for the airplane? What distinguishes this airplane to get it to a point where you're close to succeeding? Well, one of the advantages we've had, this aircraft started out 10 years ago as a, a customer assist build program at our facility. So it's in all the ones that you see flying right now are EPIC LTs. So the EPIC E1000 is based off of that aircraft. There's been changes, obviously, but if you were to set one on the ramp against the other, you'd be pretty hard-pressed to tell the difference. But it does have 10 years of operation that we know what it is. So now we know who our customers are from those operations. Most people and pilots and passengers are three and a half hour pilots and passengers. Mm -hmm. So with this airplane, it's not so much that it can go five hours or whatever else, it's how long the people can sit in the airplane or want to sit in the airplane. So if three and a half hours, this airplane will get you from either coast to mid-continent, mm -hmm. or if you're mid-continent, just about anywhere in the U.S. in three and a half hours. Plus, you open up your airport capability in the aircraft is the fact that it can operate off smaller fields. So 2,500 feet is very doable where most of your smaller jets and stuff are 3,500 feet or greater. So now you have these manufacturing facilities around the country that are maybe in some obscure town or whatever, they can get to those places very easily without going to a major metropolitan airport. So you're seeing that type of owner out there. And obviously what our performance is showing on the aircraft that have been out there so far is outperforming everything up through the Phenom 100 on legs, range, load carrying capability, and the ability to operate off of smaller fields. What's the order book looking like? We're at 80 plus right now. I expect in the next four or five months as we start looking at getting close to type certificate, we'll probably be over 100 fairly easily. And the airplane will go out the door for? Right now we have it priced at 3.25 million. The industry has had this on again, off again love affair with single engine turbines. Mm -hmm. A number of them came out to great fanfare and frankly kind of plotted along and disappeared. A number of them have uh, finally found a niche and there are some I mean spectacular niches out there PC 12 comes to mind DAR comes right. into mind where do you fit into all this and let's face it you're entering a part of a market that is exceedingly well defined and incredibly competitive well you're looking at uh, those two aircraft which are fine aircraft they've done a great job with those but you're looking at those aircraft uh, with the type certificates that are 10 20 years old we are a fully carbon fiber 100 percent carbon fiber construction aircraft so you look at the lines, the sleekness of it, right away it tells you this is a fast airplane. So we're using basically the same engine as the PC-12, and it brings this airplane through the sky at 325 knots, where a PC-12 top speed is 270 knots. So it kind of gives you some ideas there. Obviously, the PC-12 is a bigger airframe, but you're looking at this aircraft, 
a good solid six place airplane. It has 1,100 pound payload with full fuel. So you can put your bags in it, your people in it, and go places with it. But you can go there with speed and a dexterity that you can't get with the, some of the bigger aircraft. We wish you the best of luck. We'll look forward to seeing these things come out into the real world. And somewhere down the line, I've got to fly this thing. Yes, yes. Well, you need to come out of our facility. That's where you, that's where you get the, the, the hard sell. Is, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see what we're doing out there at the facility. You'll see at the manufacturing floor in place. You'll see pe people actually building conforming parts and inventorying them. And uh, so we, we're, we're on our way. Aero TV is brought to you by The True Blue Power TA202 Series High Power USB Charging Port requires no bulky external power converters for 10 to 32 VDC installation. The in-seat cabin and cockpit power source delivers all the power you need in a small, economical, easy to install package. Available from your local avionics dealer. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115-horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com.